Hello, we are Nation and welcome back to the building of Shiloh Point here in the Let's Build Baltimore universe. So today, as you can see, we are going to be finishing the finishing out the second half of the second floor. And I was having a bit difficulty. I'm not exactly sure if it relates to the amount of simoleons that not even simoleons but the amount of things that are included in the house but as I'm continuing to build Shiloh Point it always my game seems to be lagging a little bit and then I started to have these errors where when I wanted to connect walls the floors and also the attached walls would start getting deleted like as you can see in the background the whole floor is gone and I didn't understand what was going on so I literally could not put doors on the um place where we're having the bedrooms on the second floor so i just did some patterns to give it a little bit of more privacy instead of giving it doors but still have bedrooms i actually have three bedrooms here i gave them privacy so it's not like you're just walking into an open layout it does have like adjacent walls where it just breaks off but unfortunately I couldn't like connect walls on the second floor for some reason and just kept deleting the floor and it kept deleting the walls. I don't know what happened <laughs> at all, but it all worked out in the end. It looks nice to me. I think it looks very unique without the door. So I guess I'm a little bit happy. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't in my head as to what it was supposed to look like. Now there is going to be a lot of shifting back and forth simply because it is kind of an awkward layout for me to build in because there's so many twists and turns to this build so there will be a lot of shifting and I apologize for that. I don't want anybody to have any seizures here so that's basically what's going to happen. I wanted to warn you in advance <laughs> because it will be a lot of shifting. So right now we're going to work on the main bathroom of the second floor. So I'm assuming anybody who's, um, whose bedroom is on the second floor will be using this. And of course I have to do a nice little save here. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the main bathroom for the second floor. It has a tub, a shower, a toilet, all your necessities right here. And there is a ensuite bathroom which I will be building later connected to the bedroom closest to the um, bathroom actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, that probably wasn't the best idea because the other people who are on the farthest, on the father side have to walk all the way over here and the person right next to the bathroom <laughs> gets to use it. How unfortunate. That's okay. <laughs> it all works out in the end. So this is me just testing the lighting and making sure everything is A-OK -okay in terms of that stuff. And I had to switch up because I had to go back to work. <laughs> Sometimes when I get a break, I leave work and then come home to build because I want to make a commitment to you guys. Um, when I first started YouTube, I said that I wanted to get videos out and get you guys to know me. but. The only way that can happen is if I actually put the videos out there. So I'm making more of a commitment to be consistent with my schedule and make sure there's a video posted every day except Sundays. No videos ever on Sundays for right now. So that's the only day you can expect where there will be silence on the Feed to Weird channel. I may respond to comments and then also look through um, look through YouTube for other speed builds because I like looking at other you I like looking at other youtubers and their speed builds because it gives me ideas and also it kind of motivates me to go hey I need to go build something great because this person built something really amazing like it inspires me to build honestly like if I I think the one person that really that I watch on a constant basis well, there's a few people I watch on a constant basis. I like Deligracy, as I'm sure most of you do. When I found her through the Sim Supply, um, I like Simi Lexi. I really like her builds. 
Maybe because she just she has really cool music, so it keeps you entertained at the same time while you're watching the build. So that's really cool. I like Dutch Sims 4 Master. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. And it's so weird watching him because he's <laughs> he's 15. <laughs> I feel like a pedo sometimes. Not that I'm crushing on him or anything. It's more like, wow, he's 15. <laughs> oh, sorry, I had to stop right there <laughs> because I was doing conference call. Apologize, but yeah. Um, I, those are the main people. Oh, and Ty is changing. I really like her builds as well. And there are some others that I haven't mentioned, but those are the people I do watch on a regular basis and who I am subscribed to. I definitely want to do some collab videos in the future, so if you want to do a collab video with me as far as building is concerned, that would be awesome. Just make sure you either leave it down in the comment section or even um, shoot me an email. My email should be posted on my about, I guess, about box <laughs> on YouTube, but if, um, I'll probably put like... Uh, I'll probably put wording right here. <laughs> feed the weird. I think, what is it? What is it? Feed your weird at gmail.com. So if you want to collab with me anytime, make sure you email me there and we can do a collab video together. I think that would be fun. Um, I don't care if I build or furnish. I'm open to anything. <laughs> um, but here we're just doing the guest bedroom. I guess that's the... Uh, <laughs> best way to call it I wanted to make sure all of the bedrooms were relatively neutral because I know when I'm looking for a homes on the gallery sometimes it's really annoying when I download a house and it's just a kids room <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with kids rooms like if you're looking for a family home that's perfect but for me when I just um when I'm making random videos or even just playing randomly in my world most of my sims that I play with off camera are adults, so it's very important for me to have a, especially with a big house, you need lots of bedrooms, but also to keep them neutral. So I try to do in my builds, don't make something obviously a kid's room or obviously an adult's room, kind of just put it there. And this is the only bedroom that has a single bed because simply it could not a double bed couldn't fit in the back bedroom so that would be a perfect example of a kids room or even just an adult room so just a little food for thought just my thought process when I'm downloading homes off the gallery which um, I I don't know if I said this in my last video literally the spa pack just came out guys I don't understand how we already have <laughs> like 50 spas in the gallery right now so much for my idea for building a spa i'm still gonna do it but it's like wow i thought you guys would like wait for five seconds <laughs> to get right on that but you guys were literally like right there so i'm gonna go be going through the gallery and looking at spas see what other people are doing i already have an idea for the spa well actually i have four ideas for spas so We'll see how that goes if I actually build them all. But the main one that I do want to build definitely is the Baltimore Spa. <laughs> and that will be perfect for my next Let's Build Baltimore series for the series here. So you can definitely expect that um, probably Monday. <laughs> I'm going to work on it this weekend. Um, and tomorrow I will be doing a starter and a cast video. So you'll be expected for that like I mentioned in a previous video I wanted to start doing starters because I just can't seem to make a starter for some reason am I stopping here again or no or no am I I don't know I had phases during this video where I was talking on the phone and got distracted and completely didn't do anything but yes here we are back <laughs> So, oh god, did I totally not record that? Okay, so in the other bedroom, I forgot to record. Um, I just put some more cabinetry, as you saw, and then some clothes racks for the closet. And I don't, I don't know what prompted me to use cabinets on the bottom. I think it's because I really like the look of short bookcases along the sides of a window. So that kind of gave me an inspiration for that. 
And right now we're in the third bedroom of the second floor here. And I wanted to, again, just put a desk. I put the ensuite bathroom in there as well. And I popped in, I think I made a closet. Yep, I made a closet here as well, so. You'll see all of that soon. And each of the rooms have different colors. Again, I kept it relatively neutral. This is more of a mauve color, so it could be a girl's room. But it's not overly feminine, so a guy could definitely stay in there. And I gave them more of a serious, spacey look in here. The guest room is, um, I wouldn't call it luxurious. It's just... It's just a basic neutral room and then the other one is a basic neutral room as well. So most of my, most of the bedrooms are relatively neutral, so. I'm quite digging it. And at first, um, last night I had to give it a break because I had a brain freeze as to what I actually wanted in each of these rooms and how I wanted them to look. So from now on when I'm building, I'm gonna realize that I have to take a break sometimes. And that's okay, just to get me back into the mind frame of building. It doesn't mean I'm gonna stop posting videos because I'm not, but I'm gonna push myself if I have the creative juices to do it, I will do it. If I don't, I'm not gonna complain and I'm just gonna take a break for a short while and come back and hopefully the juices will be flowing like it did with this one. So I am quite happy. But yeah, on tomorrow we'll be um, doing another new crest home. And like I said, it'll be a starter and it'll be within the theme that we're doing right now with country way so it'll be a country starter i don't i never really liked country homes or even like traditional american homes so it's definitely weird <laughs> really enjoying like i really love country bliss <laughs> i love that build for some reason i think it's because it's it's a small house but when you get inside it just feels cozy and lived in and I really enjoy like putting Davina in my sim self within the house and like interacting they're currently living in country bliss actually <laughs> at first they were living here in Shiloh Point but I moved them over to country bliss because it's more furnished <laughs> and it's just, it's only them they don't need this big of a space so um but yeah I really like country bliss I don't know why <laughs> I just do um, when you download this house, it is, it, I'm not going to lie, this house is pretty massive. <laughs> but I think if you have a lot of sims, this is like the perfect house for you. You can have multiple couples in here. You can have lots of kids. And it's completely customizable. You can definitely make a room bigger or smaller, depending on your preferences. Hopefully you can connect walls. <laughs> Right now, I can't, but let me know once this actually gets up on the gallery. Um, it would be really cool if you guys change anything and just let me know if you did. As far as the finale for this video, I believe it will be Monday? Because the only thing left that we have to do really is the master bedroom, which is on the third floor. And then it's a little, I wouldn't call it a family room, but I would call it like a party area. So I'm going to put a bar up there, maybe some disco lights, who knows. So those are the only two rooms that I have left and those are the rooms that you will see. And that will be it for Shiloh Point. I'm so excited. It kind of just reminds me of John Hopkins all over again. Like I was just it was such a massive build that I was just like, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I definitely won't be doing any large builds anytime soon. I'm going to stick to my little family homes. I'll maybe do a community lot. I'm thinking about that. Probably a park because that would be fun to put in the countryway community, but definitely a little bit of smaller builds. I can definitely see me doing smaller builds now. Alrighty guys, so we're coming to a close for the video. If you want to see the last installment of Let's Build Baltimore of Shiloh Point, make sure you click on the annotation at the end. And as always, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you would like. Alrighty guys, 
until next time, keep feeding your weird. See ya. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.